Hello my friends, Bearski here. This guide requires SideQuest to be installed. If you do not have SideQuest installed, then jump to this timestamp. My guide utilizes a phone and a laptop for installation. Once SideQuest is installed, then you need to turn these settings on to get the most beautiful optimized gameplay you can imagine for your Quest 2. No seriously, carry on and check out this footage. But if you don't want to see the comparison, then jump to this timestamp. For testing purposes, we are going to be using the Jedi Knight 2 Outcast port provided by Team Beef through SideQuest and purchased through Steam. I'll be making a guide on how to install this game in the near future. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for it. This game came out in 2003 for the PC and the graphics definitely show it. Look how pixelated and blocky everything is. Now that we got that out of the way, we can move on to actually changing the settings. I do want to put in a bit of a disclaimer caution. Just so everyone knows, this is going to be overdriving your headset. The headset will get warmer and the battery life will drain faster as well. I do not have any reports that these settings have caused problems for someone's headset, but I do feel that a disclaimer caution is warranted. I have been using these settings for a couple of months now and have not experienced any detrimental issues and only lose about 15 to 30 minutes of battery life. So now we boot up SideQuest on our PC and plug in our headset into the PC. There will be a green light here that shows connected beside it and that confirms that you're plugged in. Click on headset settings on the left. We're gonna start with the CPU GPU level, set it to four. More processing power is always awesome. Change the default texture size to 3072. This will smooth out that pixelation that we were seeing. Set the refresh rate to 120 hertz. If the game supports it, this will ensure higher frames per second. Next, we're going to turn off FR, foveted rendering, off. This is so that there's no blurring on the outer reaches of our lens. If you ever notice, it's kind of gets blurry as you move towards your peripheral vision. Chromatic aberration. This is when you see objects at distances and they kind of get a little bit blurry. A lot of games don't actually support this. So in this demo, I'm actually just going to leave it on. And now the rest of the settings are for capturing video. For this demonstration, I will not be augmenting any of these, but they are all self-explanatory. Now let's boot up Jedi Outcast and see what those settings did. And <laughs> look at the look at what those settings have done to this game. The text is legible. You see fine detail on the blaster. The stormtroopers look like they didn't just escape from Roblox. So if you want to see your favorite games get an overhaul, this is the way to do it. Here's one more thing that you do need to know. If you power down your headset fully, that means holding on to the power button and waiting for your Quest 2 to power off completely, that will default all of these settings back to their default. You will have to plug your headset back into your computer, boot up SideQuest, and turn them back on. So, to prevent this from happening, just tap your power button to put your Quest 2 into sleep mode. Thank you so much for watching the video. You don't need to sub. You don't even need to smash the like button. Just taking the time to watch my video is all the appreciation I need. Cheers, and have a good one. Hello my friends, Bearski here. Today I'll be showing you how to download the SideQuest app to your Quest 2. Begin by going to your Quest app on your phone. For this demonstration, I'll be using an iPhone. First thing you need to do is make sure that your Quest 2 headset is turned on and linked to your side quest. Next, you'll click on Headset Settings and then click on Developer Mode. If Developer Mode is not turned on, you will then click on the Get Started button. The app will then link you to the Developer Sign Up page. First step is to click on the create an organization or company. This can be whatever name you want. In my case, I will be uh, naming mine Bearski Gaming.
once you have entered, click the I understand uh, checkbox, uh, scroll to the right and click submit, and then sign the non-disclosure agreement and click I agree. Next, you would go back into the Quest app, click the get started again. It'll take you back to this page. We already have our organization created so next we will go down to verify your account from here since we already verified quest account we just had to click sign in and we're good to go Next, we go back into the Quest app. Refresh the developer settings page by pressing go back and back in developer mode and turn the toggle on. Next, you want to make sure that you have a USB to USB-C cable. You can tell it's a USB-C because the smaller end will look exactly the same as your char or charging plug for your Quest 2. If your PC has a data port for USB-C, -C, then you do not need to go purchase one. Here we have a USB-C on the left, HDMI, and then two USB ports. Plug the USB side into your computer, then plug the USB-C and into your Quest 2. Be sure to look into your headset and click allow for access files. Next, go to SciQuest.com. Now we're gonna click on get SciQuest. We're going to use the easy installer. Go ahead and click the link, give it a few moments, and it will install the program. Once fully installed, click on the program. and then click on the setup guide. Follow the prompts. Confirm that your headset is turned on and properly plugged in. If you do end up unplugging your Quest 2 and plugging it back in, Bring the headset up to your face and confirm that uh, the allow connected device to access files is allowed. Once the side quest is authorized successfully, yeah, you can then move on to the final step to install SideQuest onto your headset. Everything will go green and you get a little bit of a celebration confetti. Okay, now that you downloaded the SideQuest app to your headset, what you need to do next is go to the app library, click on search apps, click on uh, the all button, go all the way down to unknown sources, and then click on SideQuest. It will give you a code, and from here, you type that into your SideQuest account to link your Quest to your SideQuest account. And you're good to go. Thanks. Have a good one.